in Orlando today. Dionka Drayton, Eddie Jamal Droy Justice, Eddie Sotomayor Jr. They read the names of the 49 dead, one year after America's worst mass shooting at the Pulse nightclub. Mark Strassman spoke to those who have suffered so deeply. A girl gets shot right behind me and she falls on the floor. Two days after the Pulse massacre, Demetrius Nollings told Scott Pelley about the mayhem inside. You could hear the bullets drop. I even heard the clip fall on the floor and for him to just reload again. And then the rings of shots just keep going. Nollings and his best friend Eddie Justice had walked in at 2 a.m. for last call. The next person to enter the club was gunman Omar Mateen. It was only when you got outside you said, where's Eddie? Right. Realizing that he's now behind me. I can hear shots fired in the background. A year later, Nollings still relived the unthinkable. Do you still hear those shots? Oh, do I hear gunshots? I hear it all the time. Because I'm always afraid that, am I next? We got about gunshots. Justice was killed. He was a 30-year-old tax accountant, a jokester, and Wilhelmina Justice's only son. He was smart, he was loving, he was, my, he was my world. Justice, wounded and hiding in a bathroom, texted his mother. It was 2.06 when I got the first text saying, I love you, mama. And he was saying, tell them to hurry up, I'm going to die. That was it, 2.39, last text. I grieve every moment. Some days are better than others, and some days are just not good at all. I'll never be who I was a year ago. So. Justice and Nollings have a special connection. They find comfort in each other. I got Demetrius, you know, and I can't imagine what he goes through, but I love this guy. I love him. This is my fight. And make no mistake, something similar in Orlando also came alive after all the carnage. You feel the love here. It's not just Disney World and Sea World and Universal Studios anymore. Now it's about um, Orlando Strong. In the drizzle behind me, you can see people gathering for the Pulse victims, part of a day of remembrance in this city. Scott, the names of all 49 people who were killed will be read aloud one more time here. Mark Strassman for us this evening. Mark, thank you.